Brett Jones, Master RKC here at the San Jose Level 2, and you should be here to sharpen your skills and improve yourself as an RKC for yourself and your clients. RKC 2 San Jose. want to get your RKC too. The better you get at this stuff, the more you look at each piece of it, the better your clients get. The healthier they stay, the faster their progress is, uh, the more complete their progress is. And of course, the happier they are. That's good for business. Who, in your opinion, is the RKC2 perfect for? It's perfect for anyone who wants to be truly serious about their training, where the the goals are infinite. They don't feel that they are going to stop at any point. They want to continue with their progress. A true professional. What's the biggest difference between RKC1 and RKC2 in your opinion? I consider myself a fairly strong person, but I had no idea just how weak I was in some areas and how I'm going to be able to take the drills that I learned here and just advance my training and my strength and my practice to the next level because of this. Why is it important for those who go through the RKC1 to do an RKC2 certification? first thing is we review the level one skills. So we sharpen the edge, we sharpen the knife, and then we go deeper into pull-ups, pistols, windmills. Why do you think it's important for those who get their RKC1 certification to go through the RKC2? The RKC2 presents technologies and different exercises that will take you to the next level as far as your mobility, as far as your performance, as far as your durability. It has changed so much and the teaching cues have gotten so good that it's just, it's mind-numbing. What's the biggest difference between RKC1 and RKC2? Um, just a lot more information, I think. It's a lot more of a teaching experience, a learning experience on RKC2. And the people that teach it, they'll walk the walk and talk the talk. So you're learning the best stuff from the best people. So simple as that. Yeah, I played volleyball for a long time, and my, my knees used to hurt so bad that they would keep me up at night. And now my pain in my knees is almost completely gone since I've been starting this type of training. Pull yourself down into the bottom. It's got to be crisp. How do you feel internally because of your kettlebell training? Have you heard success stories, people that are feeling better than they did before? You know, that's just phenomenal about kettlebell training is all you hear are success stories. I mean, people love this. You hear about it every single time somebody picks up a kettlebell. You can try to explain it, but it's so unique, you have to get the kettlebell in your hands and people feel it and they just go, oh, I love this.